All right, good morning, everyone. It's Chris White here with Vivian this morning. I am on a stay-at-home babysitting dad duty today. So I just want to welcome all of you back into the extraordinary game of entrepreneurship and how to play it. Uh, this is training day five, and I want to encourage you to stick around because today I'm going to be talking to you about the most important anchor for your Game Changers grid. We will be back to kick things off in exactly 20 seconds. Okay, welcome gamers to preseason training day five in the extraordinary game of entrepreneurship and how to play it. My name is Chris Owen White. I am the game master. And my role in the game today, it's mission critical, and that role is to disrupt your thinking. And the reason I want to do that is I want to empower you to live outside your phone booth so that you can share your extraordinary with the world. Now, you may be asking yourself, what the heck does living outside your phone booth have to do with anything? Well, let me just ask ask you this question. What would have happened had Superman never gotten out of the phone booth? I mean, literally, what would have happened? Right? Exactly nothing would have happened. Right? And that's why living outside of your phone booth every day, it's priority number one. Okay? So if you're ready, I can tell you I'm ready. I know Vivian's ready. Let's do this. Game on. All right, gamers. Where there is no vision, the people will perish. Right? We've all heard that before. Where there is no vision, the people will perish. So let me ask you a few questions. What do, you want, what do you want to achieve in your business? What legacy do you want to create? What do you want for yourself and your family? Right? What do you want spiritually? What level of security do you seek? What level of income fulfillment do you want from your career? What interests do you wish that you could really, truly pursue? You know, what do you really want to do with the time <laughs> that you've been allotted. Okay, here's what you need to hear when it comes to vision. All those questions that I just asked you, those are questions that are going to help you define the vision for your life and for your business. Okay, I love what Lily Tomlin says. Uh, she once said this, all my life I wanted to be somebody. Now I see I should have been more specific. You know what the number one regret is of people on their deathbeds? It's that they didn't go for it. You know why most people don't go for it? Because they don't have a vision. They don't have specificity. They don't have clarity around what it is they want to achieve in their lives. And so when you're confronted with difficult or uncomfortable tasks, you know, the short-term costs of taking action, they can seem so much greater than the long-term benefits of reaching the goal, right? We've all been there. You know, the short-term costs, we, we've, got, we've got the goal of building a successful business, but because we're not clear with our vision, the short-term costs seem overwhelming. Okay, this is why vision is critical because vision serves as the strong emotional stake in the outcome, okay? This is an emotional game we play. This is why we talk a lot about emotional intelligence. This is an emotional game, okay? You will always create things twice. This is very important for you to, to put in your playbook, okay? This is gonna serve you well over the coming season that we're gonna be playing together. You'll always create things twice. First, mentally, you're gonna create things, and then you're gonna create them physically. And the biggest barrier to high performance is what? Which one of those two do you think is the biggest barrier? It's not the physical manis uh, manifestation, but the mental creation, okay? Because here's why. You will never, you will never outpace your mental models, and vision is the first place you engage your thinking about what is possible for you, okay? It's with your vision. Your personal vision is gonna create the emotional connection to your daily actions that need to take place in your business, okay? Your personal vision. Don't just focus on your business vision. You gotta stay focused on your personal vision as well. You need a, a big future picture a, as your vision, okay? Because you will need to move through fear, uncertainty, and discomfort. In fact, if you've been uh, an entrepreneur for any amount of time, building businesses online with us, you know firsthand that you have to face fear, you have to face uncertainty, and you have to face discomfort, okay? So you need a big, future picture as your vision to serve as the, the emotional connection to those daily actions that are going to help you push through uh, the fear and uncertainty and discomfort, okay? The personal vision is ultimately, it's ultimately what's going to create the passion, okay? And passion is a critical, critical component of high performance. You know, if you ever feel like, have you ever said to yourself, ah, oh, I just feel like I'm lacking passion, 
You ever said that to yourself? A lot of clients I, I coach say, you know, I just feel like I'm lacking passion. Well, here's the reality of, of that challenge in your life. You don't have a crisis of passion. You have a crisis of vision. Give that some thought. If you ever, you know, think to yourself, yeah, I'm just lacking passion. The issue isn't passion. The issue is vision. You're lacking vision. You see, vision empowers you to choose the uncomfortable actions over the comfortable ones. And most often, the important actions are what? <laughs> the, the, the most important actions are oftentimes the uncomfortable ones. So when you create a vision for yourself, a very crystal clear vision in your business, you are empowering yourself to execute on those important actions, which oftentimes happen to, happen to be uh, pretty uncomfortable. Okay, so the number one thing you'll have to sacrifice to be great is what? Vivian, what's the number one thing you have to sacrifice to be great? I think she said comfort. I think she said comfort. That would be the right answer. The secret is to value the important stuff above your own comfort. Okay, if you're not willing to sacrifice your comfort, you're never going to be great. Now, why do you need to hear this? Why do you really need to hear this? It's because the first step in execution, if you are committed to your success and you're committed to becoming a high performer, the first step in execution is to create a compelling vision of the future. Okay, that you're going to value more than your own short-term comfort. Okay, you can, whoa, sing it, girl, sing it. You got to create a, a compelling vision of the future that you value more than your own short-term comfort, right? Then you can align your short-term goals and your plans with that vision, okay? The other thing vision's going to do, it's going to create emotional energy that's critical to inspire positive action. Okay, this is an emotional game. You're going to hear me say it often. Vision is going to create the emotional energy. Okay, your vision will empower you to push through that discomfort of change, right? Because becoming a successful entrepreneur, a high performer, someone who gets to breathe the rare air of the top uh, 1%, it means you're going to have to go through some change. And guess what? Change can be uncomfortable. Your vision is going to help empower you to push through that. Okay, so I want to encourage you to avoid the vision trap is one of my last thoughts here today. Avoid the limiting belief of vision that vision is soft and fluffy, right? There's a lot of people out in the world that think, oh, vision, it's all soft and fluffy. You know, that's just mindset stuff. That's not the important stuff. We got to get into action. We got to create results. We got to make things happen. We got to grind, 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 okay? Here's the thing. If you believe that vision is soft and fluffy, if you believe it's insignificant in the success equation of obtaining results, you have been misinformed. You have a limiting belief. You are holding yourself back from being a high performer. Vision is the anchor to everything for all the reasons we've discussed. So here's what I want you to do. If you're on board with me still on my argument around the importance of vision, here's what I want you to do. I want you to create your personal and your professional vision. Okay, now here are the three time horizons I want you to consider. Consider long-term aspirations, okay? Let's say 10 to 15 years. 10 to 15 years. Create midterm aspirations. Let's say that's three years into the future. And then I want you to create a vision for the next, uh, for the season we're about to play together. The 12-week season we're about to enter into here in about a week. What's the vision that you have for those 12 weeks? Now, here's some tips for you. The best visions are big visions big visions. Uh, according to Brian Moran, the most powerful visions address and align your personal aspirations with your professional aspirations, okay? Why is this important? It's because passion, as we discussed, is going to come from your personal vision. Passion comes from your personal vision, okay? Passion is your energy source to sustain you and empower you through the change process in the valley of despair. Passion, passion, passion. Where does passion come from? your personal vision. Your professional vision is not enough. You have to have a personal vision because that's where passion is coming from. Don't leave your personal vision out of this, okay? Your vision should also make you uncomfortable, okay? It should be big enough that you can't accomplish it today with what you know or with what resources you have at your disposal, okay? That's how big your vision should be. So there's two key questions I want to give you to help you create your vision, okay? And before I give you those two key questions, here are the vision areas I'd encourage you to consider. Consider your spiritual vision, consider your vision for relationships, consider your family vision, uh, your income vision, how much income you want to make in your business. 
Uh, consider your lifestyle vision. Uh, consider the vision you have for your health and even for the vision you have to, to create impact in your community. Okay, so those are your key vision areas. Uh, here are the two questions to ask inside of those, each of those areas. What do you want to achieve? Number one, what do you want to achieve? And then number two, what legacy do you want to create? Okay, what do you want to achieve and what legacy do you want to create? Now, here's why you need to do this. Here's why it's so, so important that you take seriously what I'm sharing with you today about vision. Okay, vision is the power source of high performance. It's the power source of high performance. You will never achieve peak performance in your life or your business if you don't have the vision. I don't care what results you've created. I don't care how impressive they are. You're never going to achieve peak levels of high performance without a vision. Okay, it's the all important why behind the things you do, your vision. It's the anchor. Vision will empower you to confront and conquer fear. Fear is one of the biggest things that often holds us back. Okay, vision will empower you to take bold, consistent action and to live a life of significance. And then vision is going to create ownership, which empowers people to own their goals and the actions you plan to achieve these goals. Vision is going to create ownership, which is so important. And those are my thoughts today, my friends, for vision. Uh, thanks for joining me here inside of preseason training day number five. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'm going to help catch you up from the week. If you missed uh, some of the, the messages this past week, um, I'll be here tomorrow for preseason training day six. As we're just about a week away uh, of getting into the season and starting to take big, bold, courageous action, okay? So if you haven't already, make sure you get into our private Facebook group. I'll put the link above this video. Make sure you get your playbook, right? This is your journal, okay? This is your playbook. We're gonna be using that a lot as we start to uh, put pen to paper to create the action plan for our season. And let me just say, it's an honor to serve you. I, I want you to know I don't take your trust for granted. I value it tremendously. Um, it's an honor to serve you. Uh, I got to tell you, I love you, not in a weird way, but I am for you. I am all in with you, and I know Vivian is as well. So uh, ha have a great day, and I will see you here tomorrow for training day six inside of the preseason. Bye for now. Yeah. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, man. How was the video? How was it? How was it? Did we do a good job? Did Papa do a good job? Thanks for listening to the Extraordinary Game of Entrepreneurship and how to play it. And remember, gamers, oh, if it doesn't challenge you, you, you it won't change you. you so get better? out of your phone booth you you and go share your extraordinary with the world. Okay.